Hi everybody, um, it's me again. I found my frame, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show you. Um, it's actually not a frame; it's a mat board. Um, what I did is I painted the mat board, and then I wrapped it in this lace. Okay, and it, I'll pull it up close. And I cut these out of the storybook cartridge for the Cricut, and they're all they go they're up here too. And then of course the flowers I colored, you know, with my, actually my moon shadow mist. And I made these little stick pins. And I have some feathers and of course an adage ticket. And then up here I just have the flowers and the feathers. So it makes a really, really cute um, mat for a picture. And I figured, well, while since this is going to be a quick video, I thought I'd show you uh, a while ago, I told you I was working on a little mini book of my mom. My mom gave me a whole bunch of pictures when they moved. And they're all of her, um, like in high school and all the way through her life. And I thought, well, I better start putting these pictures in an album because she, I mean, the scrapbooks that she had them in were falling apart. So I needed to redo them a little bit. So this is my cover that I did, and there's a picture of my mom. She was in 10th uh, grade, I think, there. And I'm not quite finished with this, but what I did is I have a doily and I wrapped it around. So it's a little bit, you can see a little bit on this side. I wrapped it around and it made a pocket on this side, and I just covered the top of it with some flowers. Um... And then I have some tags in here. Get them out here. They'll come out. So, I already have the pictures on, and I did whatever she wrote underneath each of the pictures in her original scrapbook is what I wrote um, on the back of each tag. So that was my mom and her friend. They were at a school picnic. So I wrote that on the back. And my mom riding her bike. And a picture, her school picture. She was in 10th uh, grade. And on the back I did a journaling of, you know, what was going on that year. And she also wrote that in her scrapbook, too. And I'm not quite done with this. I wanted, this was her school, so I was going to put the name of the school here. And this was the home she grew up in. So I was going to put a little something over across the corner here, I think. And then this, the design that I did was this fits inside here. Because this is the main, one of the main photos. And then these... Oops. Fit in. Just like that. So everything's pretty much covered up. I have my mom. Well, this is supposed to be a little slanted like this. So you can see my mom. So that's one of the pages. And this is the start of another page. I, um, this was the same school year so what I wanted to do was she had so many pictures so I made this little flip book so she so you could I could fit more photos on basically um, that's my mom in her school uniform so and just my mom playing and just you know pictures of her same here I have a few pictures here and it just tucks underneath here like that and then I have these two pictures on here and I haven't done the journaling or made the poll yet for the tag but um, I've decided that each tag is going to have like one or two pictures of my mom and um, I'm going to put the journaling for that year or you know whatever was going on and put that on the back 
And that's as far as I got so far. So it's going to be, it's quite a challenge because my parents were just up and um, my mom had, my, th there was a lot of confusion with pictures. She was telling me that this picture wasn't this year when it said right then and, you know, right on the bottom of the picture, like the year. And she's like, no, it wasn't. So I had, we had to go through her a whole album. So I had to redo a lot of things. But it'll all work out. I have all the pictures organized now, so it should go a lot faster. Um, but, and I plan on, I thought I'd let you know. Um, I, I know I've gotten a lot of comments about the faux metal technique and the faux painted rusted metal technique that you have trouble seeing it. Those were my first videos, and I didn't really have the right um, tripod so you could see exactly what I was doing. So I'm planning on redoing them. Um, and also, when I get a, another one of those lanterns, I don't want to buy one because the one that I had, um, my husband gave it to me. It was something that he had taken off someone's house. He's a contractor. Um, he took it off somebody's house to replace it because it was broke. And I just altered it to put a candle in it um so as soon as I find another one I will m do a video on that too okay hope you guys have a great weekend um I'll be back soon